Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna to be doing an EDC update. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I get someone who requests them all the time. I know uh, several people like watching this kind of video just because you like seeing different kinds of gear. I don't do them as often because the older I get, the more I focus on certain things. I just keep carrying my, my phone, my wallet, uh, on neck knife, even though the, the neck knife changes uh, frequently, you know, the firearm, keys, a lot of the stuff is, is repetitive. You know what I mean? So I don't do them as often. Uh, I do like making them, you know, when there's some kind of a bigger change. But anyway, we're going to get right into it. Um, phone, iPhone. All right. I don't remember which one. I'll be totally honest with you. I don't know if it's a 10, an 11. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I get my wife's hand-me-downs, which I'm totally cool with because it's usually just one behind whatever the newest one is. I do have the OtterBox case on here. I do like this for summer um, just because it's, it's thicker, more durable. I can, you know, drop it in the snow and not worry as much, although I'm trying not to drop my phone in the snow. But anyway, I like to get a, uh, a leather case. I used to have a Saddleback leather case on my old iPhone. So a little more expensive, but I just like it. It's kind of classy. Um, but even if I don't go Saddleback leather, I just want something that's lighter, something that's thinner uh, instead of the big old chunky OtterBox for summer. So speaking of Saddleback Leather, still rocking the same trifold wallet for many years now. It's just getting darker and darker and more polished. It is a fat old George Costanza wallet. All these years later, there's a little stitching that tore on the corner here. We'll get the camera to focus there. Camera's curious, wants to see what's going on in the background. So you can see the stitching just kind of ripped here. It's just in and out of the pocket for many, many years. Um, no big deal though. I'm not even going to bother sending it in or, or even fixing it, to be honest. If it starts really unraveling down, then, then I'll, I'll probably just fix it myself. Might just put a little dab of glue or something on the very corner. A little tiny, tiny dab of something. Just to make sure it doesn't keep unraveling, but hey, uh, I'm, I'm very happy with it. But again, it's a thick old wallet. Some people look at me with four eyes like, dude, you carry that? Do you sit crooked? Like, that's a fat wallet, man. And it's not just the EDC community. I mean, I see minimalist wallet commercials just like on TV and randomly on the internet. People are into it. It's definitely a thing, you know, but I don't know how you can get more minimalist. Eventually, it's just going to be like a black tactical rubber band for $19.99. There you go. Minimalist wallet. <laughs> so, I mean, you don't really even need a minimalist wallet. If you want to be minimalist, just stick your card and your cash in your pocket loose, right? <laughs> but I don't know. Hey, just my opinion. Uh, I'm the guy, I'm the guy with the dad wallet, the big old fat wallet, right? So what do I know? So uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, let's talk about that firearm because I know it's been a while since you guys seen any gun action. We have the Glock 43, which I'm still uh, loving and pocket carrying. Uh, this has the Streamlight TLR6. Um, I like just the light, although my wife carries a 42 and she has the uh, TLR6 with the light laser combo. And I'm going to check my phone real quick. Totally forgot to shut it off. So hang on a second here. Man, what a noob move. Okay. So anyway, um, what I did do though is I added a, this is a Hive uh, plus two base plate to the, uh, the stock block mag. So now this is eight plus one. It does give you a little bit more handle, which is nice. I don't mind the original. I, at this point, just kind of want a 43X. You know, and maybe in the future I'll I'll end up trading in or, or just getting a 43X. I don't really like getting rid of guns. Um, I wouldn't mind keeping the 43 and getting a 43X, but it's not in the immediate plans. But I do see that a longer handle is not a big deal. That was the issue. That's why I got a 43 originally. I wanted to pocket carry. But I've noticed that um, with the, uh, the weapons light that's on here and the extended mag, this just doesn't move in the pocket. I don't even use a pocket holster anymore because it's just adding a little bit more confusion. The original purpose of the pocket holster was to keep it in position, so every time you go to draw, it's in the same spot. But uh, because of the squareness on the front end and the extension here, it just sits in my pocket. It doesn't move, it doesn't you know, flop around. I'm not, it's not gonna be upside down or sideways. So it's just even faster to get it out of the pocket with no holster. Um, but yeah, I'd like to just transition to a 43X. That is the ultimate goal. Um, I do carry a spare mag still with 10 rounds, even though it's a 12 round mag, I keep it loaded with 10 just so there's no issues with, you know, loading it and the extra pressure of loading it, make sure it's got a seat properly. Um, so yeah, still have the same old mag, same ammo in, in both. I have the um, Underwood that's in here, the, like extreme penetrating stuff. Uh, I had actually someone comment in a previous video talking about this, how dangerous it is because it just goes through everything. Well, that's why I carry it as a backup. It goes through everything. 
So if my Hornady uh, hollow points don't go through something that I need it to go through, I transition to that and it will go through it. So I'm not concerned about that kind of stuff. If I, if I ever needed more than what's in the gun, first of all, if I ever need my gun, God help me, right? You hope you never need it. But if I do run out of ammo or I am in a situation where I need these, I really want these. So I'm not too concerned about the other issues. Anyway, so moving on, um, let's talk about this right here. Went back to carrying a Zippo, specifically because everyone's asking me to try the new Zippo insert, which I have right here, all right, which we're gonna talk about in a future video. But I had to start carrying it, didn't wanna carry it loose in the pocket, so I carry this on the belt, and I've been clipping my keys to this guy. So that's what that's all about. Then, of course, I have my pocket organizer. I always do. Uh, I swap between a couple different ones. This one has the flashlight lighter pen combo. Works out great. Talked about these multiple times. All right, so I'm not going to go over that again, at least right the second. Then I have my, my knives. I'm always carrying different knives, different full-size folders, but lately I've been really trying to uh, get more pocket time on this uh, Gerber. All right, this is one of their utility blade holders. Uh, it's because I do want to do a video on that comparing it to a smaller Gerber one and then also recently I got this Brian Yellow Horse customized uh, old school Delica so stainless steel combo edge Delica VG10 works out great but I am going to do a, a separate video on this because a little issue with this particular knife we'll talk about that down the road a little bit always have the chapstick still rocking the hoorah all right did a whole video on that still carry those around those are working great Although I don't carry them in the summer, like once it starts getting hot, I just don't bother with, with it as much. It really is just kind of a winter thing, just keep make sure your lips don't get all chapped and stuff. Once the cold weather's gone for good, I just kind of ditch it. It's a great thing to have in a kit. You never know, and of course you can use unscented, um, you know, chapstick for all kinds of stuff, from fire starting to using it on abrasions and cuts and stuff. But, you know, like I said, it, my main concern really is just keeping the old lips uh, nice and moist and not chapped during the winter. Now, as far as neck knives go, uh, still absolutely loving the uh, CRKT Minimalist here. This is the Katana version, which I, I definitely dig. I, I believe I showed that in a separate video. But I've been also using this uh, Hogue, all right? The Hogue is definitely bigger, bulkier. I do like it. It's nice. Um, perhaps I'll do a video on it in the future. This is the EX-F03. Um, I do like that the, the sheath is ambidextrous. You can pop that in either way. That's kind of nice, but I'm going to keep it um what's the orientation nope just like this we'll keep it like that because <laughs> i like this uh on top so it's hanging so yeah those are the neck knife options now as far as the keys it's pretty much the same as you guys saw it last time uh key fob the hea uh clip that's on there hea designs i have a um what is that an apple air tag so if i ever lose the thing i can you know try to find it easily I uh, got the little pry bar on here. I don't know if I showed this last time, but I did add a, a cheapo pry bar specifically just for prying. I have that um, Woven G3 tool, which I'm definitely going to do a video on soon. It's definitely time. I've, I've gotten a lot of use on that. I have some opinions on it. Of course, my little razor blade knife here. Uh, a backup flashlight. This is the, uh, the Olight I1R2 EOS. All right. Um, did add another key on here. Got the little brown. I'm not going to tell you what it's for. It's private. <laughs> but I got the brown cover because I, I was looking at different covers and they had like, you know, red and and yellow They had everything except for black or gray, which is what I wanted. I wanted black or gray But I figured brown is okay because I have kind of a brownish type light on here. It's the only thing that matched But anyway, that's pretty much the uh, the keys still have my um, uh, little uh, Handcuff key at a loss of words there. I didn't mention that before then this key here is for a lockbox for my car which is automatic. It is my uh, gun box, which has the biometric, so I use my fingerprint. But God forbid the battery ever died, I got to have the key, you know, especially if you have to get to your stuff. So, the last thing, and I kept it for last because it is the newest addition, is the um, Apple Watch. So, the thing is, with the Apple Watch, I've resisted having an Apple Watch for a long time, but my wife finally wanted to upgrade, so I took her old one, and I have to say I love it. Uh, it's just one of those things. I had no interest in it because I have some cool watches and I love I love all my watches. I, I just didn't need a new one. But she was going to sell it. I'm like, well, what, what can you get for it? She's like, oh, it's an older one. I don't know, 100 bucks. I'm like, ah, eh, for 100 bucks, maybe I'll just try it out. And I tried it out and I fell in love with it. I just love the convenience of it. it you know, 
when I get a text message, I can look on my, my I don't even take my phone out, you know what I'm saying? I just look at my wrist real quick, um, set alarms, voice memos, uh, using the walkie-talkie function, you know, if I'm hanging out with my wife somewhere and we're not in the same exact uh, place, I'll just use the walkie-talkie to just talk to her real quick. I love it. I think it's super convenient. I like that I can change the faces, you know, for the actual watch uh, function. Um, I just like it. I, I think it's really neat. So, yeah, that's uh, that's here to stay. What I would probably do at this point, because I do wear this every day when I go out, is I would swap back to a nice watch, like if I'm going for dinner. If I'm going out to a nice dinner, going to a restaurant, uh, going to an event, going to a wedding, going somewhere fancy, anything like that, I'd switch back to one of my older watches. But it's kind of hard. I know some, some people wear two. They'll wear their Apple Watch, you know, all the time, because that's just their pocket computer, kind of. It's an extension of their phone. And then they'll wear the regular watch too, but I've never been a double watch guy. Um, I'm not against it or anything, but it, it's just unnecessary. You know, if I lift that up, I can see the time. I mean, it's just kind of cool. Um, I do like the fact that it is pretty water resistant. I'm not sure if it's waterproof up to a certain thing. I don't, I don't really know, but I'm not worried about getting wet. It actually, it's a cool little function if you don't have one of these things where you can, if you know you're going to get wet, you can put on a little, you know, I'll show, I'll show you. All right, so then you just uh, flip up on that. You go to the little water drop here, hit the water drop. You see a little icon on top that'll show the water drop. Then you can, you know, splash around, do the dishes, go swimming, whatever. And then you hit the button when you want to shut it off and you rotate this. You can, what it's doing is actually making vibrations that's pushing any kind of water out from the uh, speaker. That is cool. That is some, uh, some technology. I can dig technology. I like it. Like I said, I'm, I wasn't focused on it before. I wasn't really interested in having one, but just as a hand-me-down, I love the thing. And uh, it's hard to go back to just a regular old you know, watch. Uh, but I still like watches. It's just one of those things. But anyway, that has certainly changed in my EDC. That's pretty consistent. I wear that every day, as long as I'm leaving the house. I don't, I don't wear it around the house, even though it checks like your vitals and stuff like that. I mean, you know, there's, there, there's some cool features in it for sure, but I generally don't wear a watch when I'm home. If I'm leaving the house, then I'll, I'll slap a watch on, and now it's always this one. So anyway, that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Love to hear your uh, opinions. If there's any new gear that you guys have been really enjoying, let everyone know down in the comment section. I'll be certain to, to read the comments as well. Always open to different ideas to cool, fun new gadgets. Um, but yeah, the big, big changes went to the uh, Apple Watch kind of permanently. Um, obviously, always changing knives out. The recent addition of the Zippo, for all the Zippo people out there, you'll definitely see a video on the new soft flame insert, which I, well, I don't want to say how I feel about it yet. Um, and, uh, you know, the addition of the uh, extension on the uh, gun magazine. And the fact that I'm not, you know, pocket uh, carrying a holster in, in the pocket anymore. Uh, it's just not necessary. It, it stays totally in position. And like I said, it's way faster. Now, although it wasn't a big deal, once in a blue moon when I was just kind of playing around and, and dry firing or practicing or or even if I was like, you know, doing some shooting and stuff, I, I'd draw it from the pocket and maybe one out of 10 times the, the pocket holster would actually pull out with the, uh, the gun and it would still be on the gun. So you have to, you know, draw your gun really fast. Then you go, oh no, the thing's on top. So you really quick just knock the, the holster off. It just adds too much to it. Um, so now it's no longer an issue. Uh, plus the uh, plus two base plate, like I said, it gives you a little bit more grip, which is very nice. Um, the extra two rounds are obviously uh, very advantageous. Now I will say real quick that uh, I was a little hesitant when I first got these to actually carry with it. I was just a little worried about its reliability, but I was able to finally get out and uh, put some rounds down range. Both ball ammo, 100 rounds of ball, and one box of 20 hollow points. Uh, what I did was I kind of topped off the mags with the hollow points to make sure they were going to function, you know, at first. But the follow-up shots were with a regular ball just because it's cheaper. Uh, I would have loved to have, you know, two or three hundred rounds through with my carry ammo, but uh, I just don't want to, you know, get rid of it like that. But yeah, I mean, it's, it worked flawlessly. I had no issues, knock on wood, you know, so I'm more comfortable carrying uh, this particular base plate. But ideally, like I said, I'd switch over, just carry Glock 43X, you know, with the standard magazines, have a little extra capacity, have the... The bigger grip you know because i don't mind the flush uh base plate that's on these uh 43s my pinky hangs over but i shoot fine with it it's not that big of a deal but if you can have a full grip why not uh the only issue or the only reason that i went with a 43 because when i got this the 43x was available but i thought like well it's a pocket gun 
So why would I want this big old handle sticking out? But it doesn't, it doesn't stick out, at least in my pockets. I'm a big dude, I have big pockets on big pants. So it hasn't been an issue thus far. So now I know I can eventually transition to the 43X. So anyway, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Again, let me know down in the comment section uh, if there's any cool gear that you've been loving lately. I'd love to hear about it. But until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.